chironomyth. Flies that inhabit lakes and slow flowing waters and are commonly known as midges or buzzers. And they show towers the evenings uh, on a, usually on on the windward side of lake. They can stay there until morning actually, so sometimes you can fish this successfully during the, the first light in the day. This is actually polystyrene spheres, uh, highly buoyant, so this fly you can use as a suspender or indicator fly for fishing for fishing buzzers in a Actually, new, it's called the New Zealand style, and uh, this fly is floating on the water, and the other fly is hanging uh, under under this fly in a desired depth. Uh, sometimes you can see some loops tying here on the back, uh, and the next fly is tied directly to this fly. So is the is the leader is here and continue from the back and it's actually an indicator however it's still the fly which catching the fish so it's good and it's good for for, for slow flowing waters uh, one can say necessary for for still water fly fishing for lakes I'm using uh, a bit special hook here it's Jimco 108 SP uh, barbless and it's a hook special design for floating names or uh, so, some guys tying on these hooks uh, the flies with extended bodies which go in just from here there and, and the hook uh, is under the under the surface. But I'm using that for, for these buzzers floating and they are great. Okay, so cover the hook with a thread, some using some brown dynamo. And we are going to add a wire, a, a metal one, which will add some weight to the back side of the fly to abdomen so it will be in the right position under under the surface I'm going to use black and uh, this uh, purple you can use different colors you can use white uh, for the body here, I'm going to use a body thread, a black one. However, even this you can change. The good is, uh, for example, uh, an orange one or some red. Depends on a, on the water you are going to fish. So just tie in a piece of the, the body thread and cover this this thread base. Just make a tiny body, nothing, nothing thick. Just I'm going, just going there and back. Okay, that's it. And this and we going to wrap these wires one one in time it's actually a pretty easy fly so you can go really down with the size to like 18 16 18 this one is 14 i don't know if i said that oh sorry this one is 16 uh, you can go 18 uh, 18 maybe 20 
So I make these ribs here. Okay, secure this. We'll just cover this. Um, yeah, we are going to tie the sphere. Choose some sphere for the styrene sphere. Uh, I took my from a fill. of Nars and Pillow and I'm going to choose some bi bigger one of these uh, what you need is uh, some old nylon socks I'm going to use pink however I've been using uh, brown or black uh, and it's all very similar the color is not that significant because it's going to be stretched over the ball so just a piece of this and put a ball inside okay make it pretty tight like this and tie this in just simple as this. Make sure there's enough space for some finish head. Then trim this. Yeah, sorry. Done. Uh, I'm just going to dab uh, a little thorax. I'm going to use a hare, a black hare. You can use like black seal or some. You can try uh, just a standard hare, natural color. Uh, not a big deal. Just a small thorax here. Tiny, tiny knot. And apply it. And shape a little thorax like this. Now just build a little head here, secure it, add a varnish. Drop or two. Yeah, or two. And we're done here. Right, great for still water fishing, and it's kind of relaxing watching these little balls bouncing on the, on the water. Okay, that's it for for this uh, fly. Uh, see you, hear you, or oh, you see me, hear me next time. Bye.